Good morning. Welcome to another Saturday morning challenge of uh, friends. And it's where Shantae and I challenge each other to do certain projects, to use certain products, uh, and just to be creative. You know, sometimes we get in the funk and we, I just can't think of anything that I want to make. And I don't want to make something just to be making it, you know. I want to create something that's going to be useful to useful to somebody. You know, and that's why I love making albums and I love making cards because those are things that people will use. I love uh, altering boxes and other items that they can put on their desk. So we challenge each other to get it done. And this month's challenge, uh, for the month of June, we are going to be doing Christmas in June. And I think we are calling it the Joys of Christmas. So, for my projects, for Christmas, you know, and I'm going to say this and then I'll move on. The end of the year, you know, right after Christmas, we go out and because everything is clearanced out, we just got to have it, and that goes for the papers and the embellishments and anything that they mark down to almost nothing, we will buy. I will buy. So I was going through my stuff, and I came up with this half a pad of basic gray paper. I used to be in love with basic gray paper. And this pad is from 2009, and it is called Eskimo Kisses. Well, I've used quite a bit. It's got a lot of scraps in there, you know. And I'm going to look for, I think I'm going to do a little album out of the rest of it so I can get rid of it because that's all that's left. But I also found, and I know there are some more, because I bought these um, stickers. And they're the layered stickers and they have dimension on them. And I bought them at Big Lots for a dollar each. And I must have bought every one they have, so I have to dig around and find the rest because, I, like I said, I am going to do an album. They, I thought, okay, I'm going to use that. When I saw the stickers, I thought, I know I have papers, so I pulled those out. So that is a couple of the things that I will be using on my cards. I also found stickers from K and & Company, and that's what... The packaging was and it had and more stickers dimensional stickers and as you can see I've used all of them but the three and I'm gonna do one more card with those so I can get rid of that but I also took the packaging and used that as one of my mats on my one of my cards so and then these are all empty packagings. I'll show you what came out of this one. It's, like I said, buying stuff on clearance. This was from the paper studio. Recollections. Okay, so first let's, let me show you the cards that I made from the basic gray paper and the stickers. This is my first card. And all of these stickers came off of that um, packaging there. Okay. And I mean, I just, the paper is from the pad. It was a scrap piece. And then I just, just use a layer of pink underneath there. And I think that is the cutest little card. And it was so simple. Okay, so that is card number one. And I love the pinks. It's non-traditional colors. And I think that was probably one of the reasons that I bought the paper. Um, because they were not untraditional. You know, sometimes red, green. You know, the regular Christmas colors, the golds and the silvers. You just want something different. So, that was different for me. And I, I, I really like how that card turned out. And then this is the second one. Once again, I layered this one with green. And like I said, this was another scrap. I had already used a part of that. So, and then the stickers came from the um, sticker sheet that I had. So, and I haven't done the insides of any of my cards because I'm not sure. These are going to be cards that I won't mail just because of all the dimension on them, you know, and I don't want to pay extra. I am cheap that way. So these will be cards that I will hand out to friends who will appreciate the effort. 
Uh, so that is number two. And then I told you I used the EK Success, uh, the K and Company paper. Well, this is the this is part of the packaging here. So I just use that for my background. This Christmas tree is also K and Company, and it was from some stickers, and there were only one or two left in that packaging. So I got the tree out of the way, and this came from the um, pad that I opened this morning, and this was just a dimensional sticker that I had and I've got it was in my box so it was just laying there and I thought that would be perfect on that card so that is my third card and I really am liking these and I got to use up these stickers well you remember me telling you about this one that came from that La Petite at Hobby Lobby and it was on like I said dollar twenty for it and I was going to use it on the cover of an album and the funny thing is, I'm, I still may use this on my album cover, put a magnet on the inside, and then have something written about our holiday season on the inside, and that would be the cover. So I really like it, and I'm glad I finally got to use it, because I have had this for several years. Uh, you know how long I had that uh, basic gray paper. The bling came with this um, sticker. With this embellishment, it had the bling, and there were like two more pieces left over, and the rest was already on there. I didn't put that there. So, yeah, I, I, I really, I'm really enjoying this, and that's card number four, and this is card number five, and this was the first one that I did, and the Santa is from the K and Company embellishment. So are all these little candies and everything, and I really liked that I really liked the embellishments when I bought them and I just never used them and I've had these I bet you three years they've just been in the box and every year I just kind of walk over them and look over them and so they make this really cute card I mean I like the vintageness of the images because look at that Santa he's an old-fashioned Santa old-fashioned doll you know, the Santa bag, they're all filled with gifts. Uh, yeah, so I'm, I'm really enjoying this. So uh, our next Saturday morning uh, challenge of friends will, will also be about Christmas. And I've got to come up with an ivory deal for that one. But those are my cards. And that's number one. I'm going to show you again. And then that's the second one. Number three. The non-traditional. I mean, it's all from the same pad, but they are so different. And that's it. And I want to thank you so much for watching. And I need you to go over and check out Shantae. You know, that's my partner in crime, and uh, I'm sure she has come up with a truly wonderful project or two. So please let her know that I sent you that way, and um, hey, I appreciate all of you. Thank you so much for watching, and that is it for another Saturday morning challenge of friends. Bye now, have a good day, and happy crafting.